I'd just like to talk briefly this morning about um, a couple of mods I'm going to uh, install on the CRZ. Uh, this is partly to help support the um, nickel metal hydrides to lithium conversion and to do some testing. So what you see here is a double pole, double throw uh, switch. It's not particularly high rated, 3 or 4 amps at uh, uh, AC or DC. And uh, the thing about this switch is it's locking in one direction and non-locking in the other. And it's two completely separate switches basically in the same package so the two sides are isolated from each other. So for instance if I push it this way, it doesn't lock and just automatically returns to the centre off position. If I press it the other way, it locks into position. Now the point of this switch is, is I'm going to use it for the clutch and brake switch mods in the CRZ. And this is a common mod which is done on other IMA cars to uh, do two things basically. Uh, it doesn't always work on all the cars but this half of it certainly will but the other part well, we, remains to be seen. So the first part is the extra regen. You'll have noticed on your CRZ if you put your touch the brake lightly when the car is regenerating then you get an increase in the regen level and that's useful to have but it would be nice to have that without actually having to press the physical brakes and activate the brake discs etc so you get a bit more extra energy so that is the non-locking part of this switch okay so this is actually in this particular switch it's the yellow and brown wires on this side of the switch here because when I pull this down here the non-locking position there's a little tab inside which goes up and connects these two wires together and the brake switch in the CRZ is just a simple 12 volt line and uh, connecting the when you put your foot on the brake it connects the 12 volt to an input onto the ECM so all this is going to do we put this in parallel with the brake switch which is already in the CRZ and then when you pull this down momentary action while you're holding this down the car will regenerate at a higher level if the, it's actually regenerating at all when you press it so you don't have to basically press the physical brake so you gain a little bit more efficiency and if you're a good hypermiler or a good economical driver then when you're coming up to junctions and things you can use your electric brake uh, which gives you slightly more braking that uh, in preference to the foot brake and you'll just gain a little tiny bit more efficiency and keep your battery at a slightly higher higher state of charge okay so that's that side and that's the bottom part of this switch so if you imagine this switch is divided into two bottom part is one half of the switch which is independent from the top half so the top half is the locking side this is the clutch switch uh, so on some of the IMA cars when you put on your foot on the clutch switch or you operate the clutch when the car is assisting it will cut the assist but what we want to do is we want to protect the battery possibly from uh, too high levels of assist or we might not want it to assist at certain times uh, even though you're in gear and the car is actually driving along and the engine's loaded. So what you would do is basically you flick this into the uh, uh, down position here. Okay, that's the locking position and that joins these two wires together. And the clutch circuit is a 5 volt circuit and again it just joins these two wires together and uh, connects 5 volts to the uh, uh, ECM. So hopefully what happens when you activate the clutch switch or clutch side of this is that basically it disables assist or regeneration. So for instance if you're going down a big steep hill and you put your foot on the clutch normally that would disable regeneration obviously because you're taking the car out of gear and this hopefully will do that without you actually having to press the physical clutch. So that's the idea behind these. So it's a two, it's a double pole, double throw switch with a non-locking position which is the brake and then we've got the clutch which is up. So disable clutch or press the clutch if you like. Hopefully disable I am uh, assist and regen. That's up. One extra regen, pull it down towards you. So I've in the past I've installed this in the steering wheel cowling and extended this with a little paddle. So basically you can operate it with your finger when you've got your hands on the steering wheel and you can just pull this down towards you and push it up. So obviously we're going to do some, do some testing today and if I can get it installed that would be great. Now what I'd really like to do is I'd like to have a uh, use some proper connectors and have a bypass if you like so that I don't have to hack into the actual wires that go to the switches um, but I will do if I have to but it's obviously pretty awkward up, upside down in the footwell trying to operate right up high under the dashboard so that is pretty tricky. Anyway so I'll see what I can uh, sort. I've got loads of uh, insight connectors I'll have a look at the clutch connectors and see if I've got anything suitable if I have I might try and make myself a couple of pass-through adapters so I can just unplug the switches uh, and plug them into like a pass-through switch a pass-through device which has this uh, wired in parallel so hopefully you understand that so this is to increase regen and potentially to disable 
uh, assist and regen uh, by faking the clutch pedal and increase regen by faking the brake pedal.